together. Now, let me ask you this. On August 30th, President Obama sent a letter to Speaker Boehner outlining regulations that will cost $1 billion or more. Virginia estimates that the Bay TMDL will cost the Commonwealth $7 billion alone. You have uh, a witness on the next panel sitting behind you who is a member of the city council of uh, a small city in my district, Lynchburg, Virginia, that has already spent hundreds of millions of dollars uh, in compliance and uh, estimates that these new requirements will cost them uh, well over $100 million or more to comply. I believe that other states have similar estimates, and this does not account for the cost incurred by localities, businesses, farms, and families. However, the Chesapeake Bay TMDL and the WIPs are not included in the list of costly regulations that the President outlined. Can you explain this omission? Um, I'm talking about $20 billion or more, not $1 billion. The simple answer, Congressman, is the TMDL is not a regulation. It's not a regulation? No. So what is it? Uh, TMDL is a, is a, a strategy, a plan to uh, meet the 303 D requirements uh, of the clean. And what will it result in localities and farmers and state governments and uh, home builders and others having to do? Uh, put on the ground activities to improve water quality. And, and will they be able to do those voluntarily or are they going to have to be required to do those? Uh, both. But that's not a regulation. TMDL is not a regulation. Well, that's, uh, that's a pretty amazing claim. You think people should feel good about the fact that the president left off a list, something uh, that is being uh, pushed down from the federal government onto the states and then onto farmers and others, uh, and told, well, it's not on the list of things we should be concerned about, the impact on jobs and economic growth, because it's not a regulation? I, I find that unbelievable.